Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. I was working on an electrical fault on my W210 Mercedes and thought I should make a video on a comprehensive electrical system of the W210. That includes all the modules, all the relays, and all the fuses and the locations. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a detailed video. Also, I'm adding a 20 second shout out section each week for those who contribute just like this week we had trevor hanlon who was the first person to join the channel you can do this with as low as 5.5 australian dollars per month or uh, with super contribution for this week's we had james smith the owner of the black ml 280 so thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching liking subscribing and joining the channel let's get back into the w210 electrical system for Mercedes W210, there are basically three main areas that you can find fuses and relays and most important electrical components. The first one is under the bonnet that is called engine compartment fuse box. Depending on the left-hand drive or right-hand drive car, mine is located on the right-hand side of the car. That's the first relay or fuse box. The second relay or fuse box is located under the rear seat. To remove the seat, there is a lever underneath and you need to push on it and then it releases the uh, one side and then you need to go to the other side and do the same on the other side and that releases the seat and then you can pull it out as soon as you remove the seat the battery is under this cover as well as a small fuse box that contains some relays as well the third fuse box is a small fuse box that you find beside your light switch and you need to pry it gently to remove the cover. Just uh, work it out with two hands. And you'll find a small fuse box over here. So if you want to access the uh, relays on the front engine compartment, uh, relays and electrical components you can remove this cover over here and there are only six Phillips screws and then you will see that there are a few relays over here okay relay number one over here the black one is the ABS pump number two just in front of it is windshield wiper motor so relay for wiper motor number three is the this one which I do not have is at the very end it's the oil cooler fan motor relay number four is the next one which i do not have still is the headlight washer pump number five is this yellow one over here is the windshield wiper motor again number six is the green one and it's the windshield washer pump and finally number seven is the horn relay that's all the relay we have over here and the diagnostic uh, port, if your car is made before 2000, is over here, the 38-pin uh, connector. So you can use this port to diagnose your car. Okay, under the seat, between these two maxi fuses, and this fuse is the spare fuse, is the fuel pump relay. Very important. If you remove this, or if this is blown, your car won't start. So inside this module, we have a few relays. And these are very, very important. So these relays are uh, responsible for exhaust air pump relay. We call it uh, air pump relay, starter relay, overload and voltage surge protection relay, and also ABS relays. For the engine compartment modules, we have few very, very, very important modules over here. And you need to remove four screws uh, to access this, these control units. So basically what we have over here is the convenience module over here. And it has uh, various numbers of uh, functionality. Uh, central locking, power windows, sunroof, emergency alarm, rear window heater, turn indicators, and steering column adjustment. And also windshield wiper. So very important uh, module over here if you for example have problem with your indicators this can be the cause so make sure this 
these modules over here are uh, watertight because repair on these modules are very, very expensive. Then uh, we have the engine ECU. The third control unit, which is very important, is the TCM or TCU, transmission control unit. The problem with this uh, control unit is if you look closely on this uh, control unit, you will see that transmission uh, fluid has found its way to this connector over here. And if I go ahead and remove this connector, uh, thankfully, it is not yet reaching uh, to the control unit. But something you need to make sure is that uh, I can see the signs, but it's not that bad actually. You need to replace the main connector to your transmission. There is a seal on that that leaks fluid. And this contamination can cause uh, this TCU to damage. So make sure you check this time to time and make sure it's not contaminated. Another module that we have, and it's usually under the brake master cylinder, and you will see uh, with few connectors going into it, is the BAS. It's the brake assist control module. So that is very important as well. Beside the battery under the seat, we also have the power uh, central locking module as well as the alarm system. So this is a combined module. If you are looking for the uh, airbag module, it is usually located in front of the gear shifter. So you need to remove some of these covers in order to be able to access. You might be able to also access it via the head unit uh, opening. So it's basically sitting on this uh, transmission uh, tunnel just in front of the shifter. Okay, inside the trunk on the left hand side uh, behind this uh, trim over here you will find the audio output amplifier if your car is equipped with one. You will also find the uh, control unit for the tele-aid uh, as well, and there is another control unit, which is the antenna signal amplifier. Uh, you will find it uh, over there. You will also find the voice activation uh, control unit, as well as the telephone interface control module over there, if your car is equipped with one of these systems. To remove the engine compartment fuse box cover, you need to Pull this apart and gently remove this. Okay, the main fuse box, which is the compartment fuse box for the W210. Okay, number one, front cigarette lighter. Number two, spare garage door opener control unit. Number three, front cigarette lighter. Number three also can be combination switch, low beam switch, washer switch with one touch wiping, wiper switch, and glove compartment lamp. Number four, is instrument cluster, coolant circulation pump, air conditioning, tempmatic, AAC control and operating and display unit with control unit, and also can be electronic stability program ESP for engines 111, 112, and 113. Number five is hazard flasher switch, left and right additional turn signal lamp. It can also be the front cigarette lighter Number six is front cigarette lighter again, and it can also power up the 15R to circuit 30 relay. Number seven, instrument cluster, automatic heater, heat push button control unit, fresh air recirculated air flap switch over valve. And it can also be a HFM SFI control unit for engines 104 and 111. And number seven, also is responsible for instrument cluster, uh, ventilator blower, automatic air conditioning, emission sensor, AAC control and operating module. Number eight is air conditioning push button control unit, AAC control and operating module, heat push button control unit. Number nine is electric steering lock control unit, very important. Number 10, number 10 is here. Please disregard these spare fuses. These are not responsible for anything, this row over here. It's the airbag indicator and warning lamp restraint system control unit. So basically it's, air, it's all related to airbag. 
Number 11 is cargo area connector box, radio navigation seat tail, driver seat adjustment relay, and front passenger seat adjustment relay. Number 12, which I do not have it, is the front heated seats and rear heated seats control unit, a left and right seat belt comfort fit solenoid, and switch for electric roller blind for rear window. And also can be the rear wiper motor if equipped for the station wagons. Number 13, the 10 amp is the airbag indicator and warning lamp, driver's side airbag sensor, passenger side airbag sensor, radio, navigation, restraint system control unit, seat belt emergency tensioning retractor control unit, and passenger seat occupied and child seat recognition sensor. Number 14, Parktronic system control unit as well as infrared remote control control unit. Also number 14 can be the rear and door wiper motor relay outside mirror switch with mirror fold in fold out and the relay to fit in the circuit 15. 14 also can be the heater booster relay and tire pressure monitor control unit. Number 15 is transmission 722 kick down, shut off relay, reversing lockout, purge control valve, camshaft timing solenoid. Uh, for diesel engines, pre-glow time limit relay, data link connector pin number two, and heater booster switch, xenon headlamp, range adjustment control, and park parking system. Number 16 is the automatic dimming inside rear view mirror, infrared remote control receiver, thermal switch for washer system, outside mirror, up and down, left and right, and folding uh, mirror functions, and the heater for the outside mirrors. Uh, 16 also can be the driver side front door control unit. 17 is the steering angle sensor, data connector pin number three, infrared remote control unit, and drive authorization system control unit is also heater booster heater unit. 18, rear driver side door control unit and closing feedback relay. Number 19, which I do not have here for engine uh, M111 is the ignition coil. And it also uh, for engine 104, it's ignition coil and can be additional air unit relay, transmission oil fan and coolant or transmission oil fan. So I do not have it, but number uh, 19, I'm assuming it's a maxi fuse. Number 20, which I do have here, engine and air conditioning electric suction fan, and also the fan control unit. Number 21 is spare, if you have it. Number 22 is combination control unit. And number 23, if you have it, it's the rain sensor, CTEL and teleaid. It can also be for engine M111, tempo mat and transmission and brake booster vacuum unit. Number 24 for the engine uh, M111 is tempo mat as well and can be the control unit uh, power for the engine. Number 25 is heater booster and heater unit stationary heater timer. Number 25 is tempo mat again and transmission. Number 26 is spare. And there we go to the next section over here. There are a few fuses as you can see over here this is number 39 which i do not have and it's the oil cooler fan number 40 10 amp is the horn number 41 is control unit very important number 42 is windshield washer heater number 43 is windscreen washer and number 44 is the windshield wiper the 40 amp Number 45 is headlight washer. The one over here, headlight washer, I do not have it. So we are here beside the headlamp switch. So we have two spares here and starting from number one is the fog lamp. Number two is rear fog lamp. Number three is right parking lamp. Number four is left parking lamp. Number five is left high beam. Number six is License plate and instrument cluster lighting. Number seven is right high beam. And number eight is left low beam. 
Number nine is brake lamp and tempo mat cruise control. Number 10 is right low beam. Number 11 is not assigned. And number 12 is reversing lamp, turn signal lamp, and rear view mirror control parking. This is under the seat fuse box, as you can see over here. You might have more fuses over here. This is number one, the 20 amp is multi-function fuse for the uh, control module. And it's also responsible for the rear power windows. Number two is the same, but for the front power windows. Number three is the front interior lamp, rear interior lamp, and trunk lamp. Number four is for sunroof. Number five is for anti-theft, autopilot, command display, and antenna booster. Number six is engine fuel pump. Very important. Number seven is the interior mirror adjustment combination control unit. Number eight is memory seat electrical adjustment. Number nine is also memory seat electrical adjustment. Number 10 is motion sensors, anti-theft, CD player, and command. Number 11 is steering angle sensor and motion sensor. Number 12 is trailer hitch pin number nine. Number 13 is front seat adjustment memory. Number 14 is also front seat adjustment memory. Number 15 is CTEL cellular uh, telephone and tele aid. Number 16 is sound system amplifier. Number 17 and 18s are for heated seats. Number 19 is center locking and rear defroster. Number 19 is center locking and rear defroster. Number 20 is for police and taxi cars. First series of fuses, and these are very important ones, usually related to engine functions, are over here. There is one maxi fuse and usually six fuses located over here under this plastic cover over here. Okay, guys. As usual, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Have a great day. Enjoy your Mercedes. Bye. Phil.